The enormity of the universe is beyond comprehension, making us humans seem like minuscule dots at its core. It's astonishing to realize that the universe's diameter surpasses average human size by octillion times. This vast expanse might make you feel insignificantly small, but consider the possibility of entities millions of times smaller than you. Let's delve into this concept of how massive is our universe. Despite your significance as the paramount living entities on Earth, a realization of the universe's vastness can make you feel remarkably small. The observable universe, with a diameter of 93 billion light years, becomes even more astounding when considering that one light year spans 9.7 trillion kilometers. The Milky Way alone extend 100,000 light years, pales in comparison to the immense scale of the observable universe, where hundreds of Milky Ways could fit. Meanwhile, in a fascinating juxtaposition, humans are as infinitesimal to a proton as the universe is to us, with the proton being potentially 80 quadrillion times smaller than an individual. In the grand scheme of size, humans occupy a middle ground, creating a captivating scale comparison when exploring from the smallest entities upwards. In terms of size, a delightful kitten is approximately six times smaller than you, while a three-story building is six times larger than you. Placed between the diminutive kitten and the towering building, you find yourself in the middle of this size spectrum. This straightforward comparison serves as a simple and effective way to grasp the concept of relative sizes. Likewise, a rocket standing at a height of 37 meters is roughly 23 times larger than you, while a dove with its petite seven centimeter stature is precisely 23 times smaller than you. Once more, you find yourself situated in the middle of these size comparisons. As an additional point of interest, it's worth noting that a bird would require 46 days to complete a full orbit around the Earth, while a rocket takes only 90 minutes to complete one orbit around the Earth. Indeed, a mosquito standing at a mere 0.7 centimeters in height appears diminutive compared to a bird. A 1.7 meters tall human is approximately 243.9 times larger than a mosquito that is 0.7 centimeters in height. However, when we shift our focus to the majestic Burj Al Arab, towering at 321 meters, the scale becomes truly massive. This iconic structure, situated on the first man-made island, spans a distance of 1053 feet. The Burj Al Arab is about 319.3 meters taller than an average human being. Observing the sand grains reveals their length to be around 0 0.06 millimeters, making them over 800 times smaller than a person. On the other hand, when considering a large city such as the Vatican, its size exceeds that of an individual by more than 4,000 square meters. Delving deeper into scale, a single grain of sand becomes approximately 550 times smaller than a person, extending the perspective to the grandeur of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, the people on the ground appear as minuscule as insects in comparison. Vatican City, the smallest city in Europe, stands as an independent city-state enclave enveloped by Rome, occupying an area of approximately 44 hectares or roughly 110 acres, it is renowned for its compact size and unique status. Therefore, making the Vatican City thousands of times larger than an average person. On the contrary, when considering insects like millipedes and wasps, they can be hundreds of times smaller than an average human. This scale comparison prompts an intriguing thought. What if we are living in a giant organism's body? When we zoom in, the human body reveals itself to be a complex network of cells. The size of human cells can vary, 
typically falling within the range of 10 to 30 micrometers in diameter. Specialized cells like red blood cells may measure around 7 to 8 micrometers, while nerve cells can be longer but still possess a small diameter. This microscopic scale can be compared to tiny bricks assembling to create a structure as monumental as the Burj Khalifa. Expanding our perspective to a broader view, individual countries become vast landscapes, dwarfing the observer. For instance, China, ranking as the third largest country globally in terms of land area, covers approximately 9.596 million square kilometers. The sheer expanse of a country like China renders an individual akin to a minuscule piece of flesh swirling within its boundaries. If this sense of smallness isn't humbling enough, consider the revelation that there are entities smaller than your own blood cells, and they may not even be human in nature. The intricacies of scale within the universe never cease to amaze. Yeah, it's not human, but at least it's living thing. Yes, we are talking about bacteria, with the smallest known bacterium being Mycoplasma genitalium, boasting a diameter of approximately 200 to 300 nanometers. These bacteria are so diminutive that they can inhabit our bodies without being visible to the naked eye. However, even smaller than bacteria are viruses. The smallest viruses typically range between 0.3 to 0.02 micrometers. For instance, the circovirus has a diameter of about 0.017 to 0.02 micrometers. To put this in perspective, an average person is approximately 75 million times larger than this virus when considering size. But when you compare yourself to Earth, the scale is staggering, with the Earth being approximately 7.7 .7 billion times larger than an average human being. Yet, the scale comparison doesn't stop there. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, boasts a diameter of about 139,820 kilometers at its equator, surpassing the Earth in size. In terms of diameter, Jupiter is roughly 82 million times larger than an average human being. Examining the height of an average person in relation to the DNA of a virus, the virus is approximately 85 million times smaller than the human. Absolutely, the cosmic scales become increasingly staggering as we venture beyond our own planetary system. The sun, being about 10 times larger than Jupiter, already places an individual billions of times smaller in comparison. The solar system being approximately 22 trillion times larger than an average human. The Milky Way dwarfs you by a factor of one sextillion. Conversely, the neutrinos within your body emit light with a wavelength approximately one sextillion times smaller. In conclusion, we arrive at the vast expanse of the entire universe, spanning 93 billion light years, making you feel like nothing in the great vastness of universe, you are billions and billions of times smaller in comparison. Returning to the beginning, the human being appears as a tiny speck in this vast cosmos. So if you compare from the beginning of this size chart to the end, you will feel yourself extremely small. But are you really this small? Or is there another world so small like we are to our universe inside a human body?